Hey guys, you're watching you want to know My name is AJ. Welcome back to another epic episode of Let's Build an Adventure Map. I'm having so much fun. I've done a little bit of off-camera work here just on the boat. I'll just show you in a minute. I'm just putting some broken sails in. They've been torn away. In maybe that's why we even crashed. They were torn away. And uh, and that's all that remained. And then we couldn't control the ship anymore. It's sort of gone plowing into the side of this rock here. This cliff side. Uh, but boy does it look cool. Even with the night vision potion. I've done the hull of the ship here. You can now see it. But now I've got night vision. It actually looks like it's properly embedded itself in. You're not getting that out in a hurry. That looks pretty cool. I really like that. Imagine starting there, man. How cool is that? That's pretty cool, right? That's pretty cool. So, what we're going to be doing first is we need to sort of line out an area of a, a path. Or something along those lines uh, to a small camp. That's the first thing. We need to have a stop off at a camp where maybe we can meet someone and get some uh, equipment. Because all of our equipment from the boat would have been lost. We'll set up more of a story later on I think with using uh, books and quills. We can very easily make uh, storylines very in-depth storylines as well uh, and quests and stuff using the books but at the moment I just want to sort of get some some real meat set up uh, I think actually here is a pretty good spot it's not far at all from the but how cool is that man you just see it over the edge there it's not far at all it's a nice little walk to here I think that's pretty good what we can do is let's clear our inventory grab our one back and obviously we want a nice flat area to start building in so we're gonna just uh, set to grass that nicely flattens out the area beautiful that might have gone over the edge just a smidge I was prepared for it so we can now just that back. there we go nice natural looking again and we have a nice area that we can build we can get rid of this stone as well <laughs> and <laughs> Uh, replace stone with grass. Wonderful. Okay. Creeper. Okay, so, um, for a tent. How would we do a tent in Minecraft? I don't know when I last done it. We're going to want some brown wool, I think. It's probably going to be a good block. And we're going to want a fence post to hold it up. Now, we're not, obviously, going to be able to do a tiny little one-man tent. Because that would literally, if you think about it in the real world, um, if you're two blocks high, that's technically the scale of a tent in Minecraft. A little bit too small. I'm talking about sort of tents that you could walk inside of. So let's think about maybe a main, a larger main one. Okay, I think a larger main one, maybe facing in that direction here so you just come over down this little bit we'll put a path in and then we'll see this one so let's have the front of it about here now we want it i think four blocks of fences high because we've got to remember it's going to be a pointed tent therefore we want a nice high area in the middle so we actually get some space to move about in uh, when we come inside i might make some green in here or a different block as well if it looks a little bit too brown we might add some more. How many blocks is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think eight blocks is probably good. And again, on this side, it'll be an open tent that you can walk walk all the way through. And then we need to work on the shape of the tent. Now, this is the hardest part, getting it right. Obviously, I don't really want to go diagonal all the way down. That would be boring. We want to have a little bit more of an interesting shape. So I think I'm going to go try two down. No, I need to go taller. It needs to be a taller ten if we want to do it like this. I'm thinking about a sort of um, more Victorian almost style roof. I think just maybe one block would be good enough. So you don't want to go too big. You end up having a tent the size of a house. Um, and it doesn't quite look as good, does it? So we need to try and be careful. But this is just going to be the main tent. I might even want to make it longer now that we've made it taller as well. So we've come down two blocks and then come out a block. 
And then I think we're going to come out another block and another block after that. So it's nearly a perfect diagonal, but just one of the blocks is set a little bit out. That's, that's going to give the tent a little bit more character than just a boring diagonal sort of look. So we shall do this again. And I say the other ones can be a little bit smaller. They don't need to be this big. But first step uh, in the adventure, the first stop off point, Maybe they'll be kind enough to give us some food. Um, they've hunted some food and stuff like that. Or maybe we have to do a job for them first. Maybe they give us a little bit and uh, we have to go and mine that coal for them. I don't know. Just thinking of some ideas. Thinking of some ideas. Okay, that's really nice. That's a really nice tent shape. I think we've really pulled that off. If we come and stand in, like come from the direction that we would if we were playing it, I think that's good. I think that's a really nice sized tent but i do think it needs a maybe a ground sheet in or something like that on the floor to get rid of that grass let's also make some smaller tents as well so we're going to come up i don't want to get close to that tree i sort of keep that tree there i sort of like it let's do this one and this is only a smaller one so i'm going to do this only four blocks tall and this one might be a might end up having to be a straight diagonal one i don't know Let's just do the tent and see if we're able to actually walk in it. Look, it looks like we should be able to walk in it. Yeah, we should be able to get in here. And we still get a nice character-esque uh, sort of arc shape on the tent. Like it's sort of sagged. I don't know. I'm, I, I'm really tempted to add another block in here. But we can do that with World Editor afterwards and we can really play around with colours. That's a, <laughs> a really cool advantage of it. Alright. So there's our tent in there. I think that's pretty good. Let's uh, grab our wand. And we can uh, copy that. Grab that corner. Take that grass away so it doesn't copy. I'm going to stand right in the right at the start of the tent in the middle on the block just in front of it. We're going to copy the tent, and then we can come over here. We can rotate it 90 degrees, and then we can paste it. Literally copy and pasting pictures. Apart from it faced the other way. <laughs> you didn't see that, okay? We want to rotate it now, then 180 to get it facing that way. And then paste it. There we go. There's that one in. And I think we probably want... Well... Do we want another one? Three tents or four tents? I think another one right there would be good. Let's just trim away some of this edge. And we want to rotate it 180 degrees again to get it facing this way. Paste it down. Beautiful. Obviously it's moved some of this... Or it's, it's shifting the dirt away here, which I like. A sort of area that you have to swing around to the side to. Uh, P time day. Oops. Let's trim away this edge. Oh, not two slashes. I will get it. I will get the daytime how I want it. <laughs> it's going to argue with me, but I will get it in the end. So I'm just going to trim away a little bit around here just to sort of, I don't know, edge it off a little bit. That'll go that. That'll all turn to grass, no problem. And we've got a nice selection of four tents in here. I think a campfire in the middle is probably the next good step. Um, maybe like some stairs, some cobblestone stairs. Maybe a nether rack so it burns forever. Obviously, um, a flint and steel to light it. A I like a, a log that goes over the top of the fire like a, a spit roast for pigs um i wonder if we can do that we've got the fences uh i wonder if cobblestone wall would work i don't know we'll just oops we'll give it a go uh so for the fire itself i think we want to have another rack in the middle that looks fairly centered to me uh but i don't want the nether act to really be that well seen so what we're going to do is we're going to mix in some slabs cobblestone slabs and some cobblestone blocks 
in the hopes that we can sort of hide the look of the nether rack in the middle but yet still get quite a cool little uh, area so i'll do like a turned one like that and a turned one like that dig out some of the area around it i think that's probably a nice good size for a campfire and then what we're going to do is we're going to randomly place some full blocks some stairs and some slabs in order to get a more of uh, an overall sort of old coals. That's what I sort of chose it for, the cobblestone. It looks like burnt out ash. I like that. That looks pretty good. And if we get some cobbles, uh, some, some fences here. I don't know if these will get caught on fire. If, can I do um, fire spread? Is that... I don't know if that's a real thing. Do fences get caught alight? We shall find out this episode in Let's Build an Adventure Map. And then I want cobblestone walls. Do these join up? They don't. I might have to do something at, at the other side or something like that. Like that. And then... Something like that. Can I just have a log that we can put on the end that's not going to set fire to everything? <laughs> So they all join up together. Oops. I like that block. Yeah, I like that. That's So basically, if you don't know what it is, it's like a spit roast they're called. When you ca catch a, a pig and you don't want to chop it up into pork chops and everything like that. What you do is you put it on a stick and then you will rotate. Let me get my hand in the camera. You'd rotate the stick and the pig would turn on the fire, cooking it all the way around. Still used today. Uh, log. Wood. We're going to want some spare wood around this fire here. So, Or, or maybe just do it for some seating. Uh, no, I think I want to use slabs for that. Yeah, we're going to have some a little log pile then. I don't know, something like... Um, I need to get this in a way that looks good but isn't too sort of much. There we go. That's I think that's a nice little log pile there. Doesn't look too overpowering, does it? And then we want some slabs of maybe a, a darker, a slightly darker wood. Slightly darker, not quite as dark as the wool, uh, but just for some like little benches in here. Sit on either side of the fire. There we go, something like that. I think that's a pretty good start. I don't like that one there. I think that's a pretty good start to a a camp. Now, we're going to want uh, villagers probably uh, to sort of add a little bit of a story. Uh, but we don't want the villagers to have full reign of the world. Obviously, they're going to end up wandering off somewhere. So I think maybe fencing this area off um, with a way to keep villagers in but allow you to get in. Maybe just using a fence gate. We'll go nice and simple. Um, let's have a fence post that joins sort of these up here. Comes around the back of the tent. Obviously, uh, the tents are open on either side, so you need to make sure that you don't just go to the side of the tent and then find out shortly after that they can just walk through. <laughs> it would be it's the sort of thing that I would do. All right, so let's bring it around this way. Oops, okay, that doesn't matter. I'm going to take that one away. Too. Along here. And then we can have villagers wandering about. If there's a specific villager that we want to have as a story person, we can block them in some way uh, to not allow them to move. Let's take that one away. Obviously, we don't want villagers jumping up here, so I'm going to put this back. That should... Stop the villagers from getting out, right? Especially if I do that. Villagers can't get out of there. On this side, if I put that across there. Just raise that up a little bit. Villagers can't get out of there, but we can easily drop in, obviously. Uh, I might put a fence post up and around it, though. 
Like that. Okay, a villager could technically get out of here still. He could jump on here, then jump on here, and then get out. Okay. Yeah, this is a really tough part about adventure maps, making sure that nothing can go wrong. You're never going to successfully do it, I don't think. Something's always going to go wrong. For example, zombies can uh, come into this area. We can actually go into game mode. Um, no, difficulty. Difficulty peaceful. Yes, there we go. So no mobs will spawn now. That'll save us a little bit of a headache. Um, there's another problem. Villagers can jump up here and get over the top. So we're going to have to sort of block these off. I'm going to put another one on there. This is a cool little camp though. As a starting place, I think it's a pretty nice one. But what are they going to ask us to do? What are they going to ask us to do? I think that we should go for a collecting style mission. Something that we have to go and get nearby. Maybe we can make an artificial nearby cave where one of the villagers has lost a, 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 an item. Maybe a... Uh, I don't know. Maybe a pig's gone missing. One of their pigs have gone missing. Their pet pig, we'll call him Reuben in... Um, respect to the Minecraft story mode game. We'll call him Reuben and then uh, we have to go and get Reuben back. But is Reuben alive or is he dead? I don't know. Now, could a can a villager jump? I think villagers can jump, can't they? I'm pretty sure they can. I might be wrong. Okay, let me just safeguard this area and then I should be back. I've had an idea. While I was doing the fencing, I thought, hang on, this looks like a bandit camp, an evil, well not evil, uh, bandits, you know what bandits are, uh, a bandit camp sounds like a really cool plan, so we can put a nice bandit sort of style gate on here or something, with pistons, and they won't let, let you in until you do the quest for them, so we can have some pistons. And we shall set this up via, with redstone somehow. I don't know yet. Some, set it up via redstone somehow. So once you actually do the quest in the nearby cave, I think that's what we're going to go for. Uh, the, the quest in the nearby cave, you will then be allowed to enter. Let's get some torches going here as well in case you come at night time. I think on top of those. Look, I'll go around with torches. Oh, I, I go around with we don't need to worry about that now. And then have some fences on top like that. So you can't get in. I think I'm going to actually then extend the fences up around the area. So we can't actually get in from the outside anywhere. We can do that super, super easy. Um, and yeah, then, that, then we've got a really cool little gate on. I think I want something like that as well. It's like a little archway on top of it. We can hook up a real easy piece of redstone up to it. Maybe they'll only let you in if you trade some stuff with them. I think that's pretty good. I think that's a pretty cool idea. Okay, anyway. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Let's um, grab our wand. We'll go from there to there. Replace dirt with grass. Neatens up the whole area. And then what we're going to do is we're going to try out a little idea for how we're going to do the pass. So, see, we don't want to spend forever on paths. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do replace grass with... Grass, cobblestone, there we go, yeah, 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 okay, so we can do more. Grass, cobblestone, can we do diorite at all? No, it doesn't, it doesn't accept diorite, it must be an older version of world that I need, need to update. Can we do cobblestone stairs? It does, and cobblestone slabs. Cobblestone slab. Um, what? It done cobblestone stairs. It just doesn't like cobblestone half slab. I don't know what it is. Okay, anyway. The cobblestone stairs work, though, so we'll stay with that. 
That looks so cool. Okay, and then we'll go from here to here. Do the same thing. Well, that wasn't much. There to there. There to there. That's pretty cool, right? Uh, I think I'm actually going to trim this area off like that. And then I'll just manually put a couple of bits in here like that and like that. Okay, and then we need to come down here. Uh, can I do it so it actually does go down like from here to there? Yeah! Oh, that's so cool, isn't it? Uh, so, yeah, this is just a way that we can actually get uh, a little bit of a way to go. Like, a, a hint. Obviously, it's a it's an actual seed. There's all sorts of directions that you can actually go in. So, we want a sort of hint to say, look, that's the way that we want to go. That's such a cool looking path, isn't it? Then don't, don't you think? Don't you think that's so cool? Really cool way to do it. Um, I like that. I really, really like that. So you spawn down there, you get to the top, and you'll instantly see a sort of, hey, I need to go this way style path. It's sort of fairly giveaway, isn't it? You come down here, we end up at the bandit camp. Then in the bandit camp, maybe we can have a, um, a sign. We could do signs, actually, instead of a book here. It saves having a chest with a book in it that you have to then get out and read. So we can have, like... Um, what would be the easiest way? How would we want to do the speech? Because we want it. We obviously need it to work on um, everybody else's systems and stuff. So what if we had like a wall here or something? Or 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 we do something like how are we doing for time? We're doing okay. we we'll put that there and there. And then have... Like this. And have like a big signboard. These could be sort of something throughout the map that we have to signify, look, there's some speech here that you need to read. So we can have like... Um, bandit. Uh, come no closer. Who goes? No, do bandits say who goes there? Come no closer. Um, or else. That's a good start. Come no closer. Or else. And then, how do we want? We want to have it in an order as well. Do we want to have it in like a book order? So we read from left to right and then the second row. Um, what would be the best way to do it? I don't know. I think like if we done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, that makes the most sense. You read it somewhat like a book, then. Yeah, we'll go with that. Uh, you, I need help. Ah, uh, my, I need help. Exclamation! Full stop. Can I? Oh no! There we go. My ship has crashed. And I need help to get home. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> you guys knew that was going to happen as well. Home. Well, we can go um, bandit. Uh, is there... Oh, I've used two spaces. Is there any... Uh, loot oops upon your ship and you say no nothing oops you no I maybe you were a trader haha -ha, starting to get a story no I just no I uh, no, uh, no. I was on my way home after uh, delivering, what oh, fitted in, 
all of my cargo. Well, how can whatever you say always goes over one side? And then bandit. Bandit. You will get oops. Get on the other next line then. No get no help here. Um unless you do something for us. Oh, this is so cool. I love stories. <laughs> um there's we, we'll make an artificial cave nearby. That won't take long with the brush at all. Um but what do we want to have? I'm going to leave that up to you. I'm going to leave that up to you. The co the the comments for this episode have to be what do we have to collect from a near by cave if you can thunderstorm v i before e uh retrieve is that how you spell retrieve retrieve i think it is i'm not very good at spelling <laughs> especially not on camera it's really awkward our uh... dot dot no, I'll do it on the next side. If you can retrieve our thing for us. Yeah, yeah. So tell me what you want us to go and retrieve from the bandits. Make it something sort of bandit orientated and then we'll be able to do it. The cave itself, well, we can put anywhere. Um, I'm half thinking in here. I think that's a pretty good space. P weather. Sun, because it's really scaring me. And then we want P time day. Okay, let's um also just before we end very quickly see if I can see how quickly we can do a uh, a cave brush radius of five. Um, no brush sphere air five. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that. Cave, done. How easy is that? We can have it weave and all sorts. We... I've broken it! No, it's fine. Uh, we can do all sorts of stuff here to, to help out. That shouldn't do that for too much longer, hopefully. Uh, we can make the brush smaller or larger to make the areas go in and out. But that's how quickly we can make a really cool, dynamic cave shape whatever we want. It's a thunderstorm in the day. If you guys enjoyed the episode, then hit that like button. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe. And we shall see you in the next episode. Get your ideas down in the description below. Even the skies, the gods are excited by this adventure map. Hopefully they won't set fire to my camp. Anyway, see you in the next episode, guys. Bye!